Hi, Bo here from High Tech Investment, and today's video is a bit of a rerun uh, in relations to uh, Sapphire and Sap coins. Um, we understand that it's uh, a lot of questions on how to get started, and this particular video we actually uh, sent out previously. So this goes all the way back to the May review of Yield Notes, which was uh, that video was released in early June. Um, and we know also that the uh, decennary is, uh, is actually on the move, so a lot of new coins is uh, coming out. So we've decided to um, split the videos up and create a separate playlist for the Sapphire coins and all the other coins that are coming later on for you to uh, be able to find it a bit easier. So um, by all means, uh, if you haven't seen the video, then uh, just stay tuned to the channel here and uh, go through it. So this will be uh, one of the first uh, of three videos going to be relaunched separately to make sure that uh, you get up to speed on the Sapphire um, coins and also the staking and the master noting. When you watch this video, just make sure that you also uh, download the, uh, the latest version of the um, Sapphire wallet. And um, there's links in there plus the in description below that uh, you can make sure that that will happen. So enjoy the video. But before we finish, I promised you to uh, we'll have a look at the uh, wallet, the Sapphire, and uh, we'll do a Windows download on this particular one. So if you got your download down, you'll see uh, a file like this, a zip file. Uh, within that zip file, you'll have uh, four programs and you basically just click on this particular one and hopefully in a second or two here it will then tell you that uh, you need a bit of space for this particular one so um, and it says it will also uh, increase so you need about one gigabyte of data that will be stored in the directory and it will grow over time so you've got to make sure that you have plenty of space. Um, so obviously it's chosen in this case here, a C drive, uh, which is not where we want it. So let me just change that for a second. So we have now selected a different folder that will work a bit better for us. So we have the pop-up here and default language. Uh, I guess it's gonna be American English, there you go. <clears throat> Select your language, welcome. Privacy, okay. And master noting, uh, what is master noting? Well, we have a link and a video on, on that, so I can show you a bit more to it. And basically, We'll let the program run. So your wallet address is now set up. Obviously there's nothing in here at the moment, so uh, you can feel free to explore. Basically what you need to do for yield notes is you need to have uh, an address where you're going to put the money. And in this particular case, it's here. Um, you can edit the label itself. You can actually generate a new address or you can run with the default one. And all you do is you basically uh, copy your address that you have. You do that and then you go over and you set up uh, a deal notes. So we are back over with yield notes redraw. We go into our Safa SAP and we manage. So this was where we downloaded it from before, if you remember, and then manage the redraw wallet It's from here. You set up the title that you want for this and basically you copy paste it in and then this you call master I guess. You add a wallet and then we just need to enter the from the authenticator. So six five okay. And that should be it. Let's go back 
and let's have a look Oops, like this and you have your master wallet down here now yeah so works perfect and that's pretty much what we're gonna cover today